everyone kim here abundant life tarot welcome to the channel i'm so happy you are here every year i like to do a roundup of decks that i was loving on and also explore decks that i have purchased or explore decks that i plan to buy in the next the following year you know the next year in this video i was inspired by kelly bear Check out her channel. Check out her video. She did a 2022 deck haul. The deck she bought in 2022 video. I'm going to be sure to link her video in the description box and in the comment section. It'll be a pinned comment. So you can check it out. Because this her video is what inspired this these videos. I'm going to do two. So I'm going to do one on Tarot, one on Oracle. Because at first I thought, did I get enough? to row an oracle decks to cobble up a video for a deck haul that I in a massive 2022 deck haul apparently I did <laughs> I thought I didn't but apparently I did so that's what we're doing today we are ex looking at the decks I got this video is going to deal with Tarot, and I will do a, a part two that deals with oracle I'm going to split it up because it's just easier for my editing purposes to do it this way y'all yeah, know so yeah we're gonna do that i'm not just gonna talk about though the decks that i bought which was actually few i'm gonna talk about the decks that i was gifted by a dear beautiful soul and i can't wait to share with you the decks that i was gifted this year and also in this video i'm going to talk about the decks that i pre-ordered that i backed on kickstarter there's only one i backed on kickstarter there's only one that i pre have in pre-order and one that I ordered through Amazon that is on its way to me. It is being either on a ship right now on its way to me or by plane coming from Miami to the island. So without further ado, let's get started with my list of Tarot Deck 2022 purchases and gifts. First, we'll start with gifts. And then let's get started. So first, let's talk about the decks that I received as gifts. All right. So my friend, Queen Osset from Oya's Girl. I'll also link her channel in the description box. Just an amazing woman. Amazing being of light. I adore her. We were chit-chatting. And I was kind of lamenting on how I missed out on a Kickstarter because it was the Kickstarter was happening in the throes of me relocating from the U.S. to the Dominican Republic last year. And so I was, you know, kind of busy <laughs> trying to figure out my life and figure out where I'm at and what I'm doing. And I was saying that and I mentioned that to her and I was like, I was really hoping to back and support this deck. And I didn't get a chance to and I don't see where I could pre-order it or anything like that. So I was like, ah, I guess it's just one of those things. Well, she gifted me the Omni Tarot. She sent this to me. And I got her, I was like, I got I got to get your permission so I could share with, with my peeps that you were the kind soul that gave this to me. So I have not done a flip through yet on my channel. Actually, next year is going to probably be the year of flip throughs and deck reveals and deck and focus videos and i'm hoping when she has a free moment that we can maybe get together on a live or something like that where we discuss some of these decks because she do have the decks that she gifted and it'd be interesting whether i'm unboxing them and we're discussing them together and i'm asking questions about it or after i've used it a while we discuss the decks and just kind of have like a little deck mashup if you will of the decks that she had gifted me so i'm just going to show a few of these because a i i want to save them you know save most of it for a proper flip through but here's the backs here's the box nice sturdy box yeah so and um Two of Wands. I'm super excited to work with this deck. Page of Cups. For a number of reasons. Ah, Knight of Cups. 
I'm super excited because I just, I love the art style. I was surprised by the fact that I was like really vibing and feeling it. And I just love the story behind this deck. And I will talk a little bit more about the story that I recall and what made me want to back this deck and support the project. And it was because I believe that the creator was inspired by her friend who's African-American or I identify as black, but you know, the appropriate, I guess, term is African-American. But anyways, she was inspired by her friend. And, and if my, if my memory serves me correctly, she wanted to create a deck based on that, that beautiful energy that they shared and what she feels from her friend and her friendship. And so I was like, oh, I really like that. Here's the Ace of Swords. And I actually have some decks with a similar art style that I feel like would play really nicely with this deck, like my Dear Heart Oracle that I loved and cherished for years. Ten of Swords. Isn't that gorgeous? Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, my God. So I don't want to go through too many of these because I do want to do a proper flip through. Oh, one more, one more. I do want to do a proper flip through. And I would deck and focus, perhaps with my girl clean a set at some point and we just chit chat about the deck and about what comes up for us. Oh, I cannot wait. I cannot wait as I'm going through these. So there's number 16, the tower. So we will do that. We will get together. I don't want to have too much time spent on all the decks because y'all know I could keep y'all here all day on these videos. But I'll, I'll, I'll be mindful. I'll be mindful. Now, moving on to the next one. I have a list here. Now, then she sent me this deck. The Afro Avatar Tarot by Colored Afro's Art. Oh, my gosh. I cannot wait to do a flip through of this deck, okay? Now, I know about Avatar for my teenage sons and my husband, who's like a teenage son, and um, my daughter. Like, everybody knows about Avatars. And Queen Asset was explaining to me, and I'll have, I, I want to either go on her channel or she comes on my channel, and she explains about... Uh, the incredible like journey of the avatar and how it relates to um i don't even want to misspeak i won't misspeak let me just say this she has a cr incredible story behind the avatar story and it is not to be missed so we have to have her on or i go visit her channel here's the backs and she gifted this to me look at this it's gilded and silver it's just glorious. And again, I'm going to do a flip through of the stack. I am. This one might be more of like a deck flip through or an um, kind of an unboxing, not really. But I cannot wait to work with this deck. And I can't wait for her to share what she knows about how the avatar relates to her spiritual journey. The avatar story. Here's the lovers. It's beautiful. Chariot. Strength. Isn't that beautiful? Look at the hermit. And my card of the year is Will of Fortune. So I'm resonating deeply, you all, for my card of the year. Here's Justice. I'm just in love with this deck. And she, she's gifted this to me. And I'm just so grateful. I'm like, really? Like, this is so amazing. Because I really didn't. When I share with you all the, the list that I have for the Tarot and Oracle decks, and you understand why I end up adding them to the collection, because they were for specific type of readings, you'll realize I didn't really buy a lot, but to be gifted decks, and I was kind of hesitant and worried about having decks being shipped from the United States to the Dominican Republic, and then 
she sent it and it got to me and it was so on time when I received it and it was just like, oh my God, she speaks my love language, Dex. So I'm like, <laughs> okay, so now, next up, I don't have, now this will be an unboxing. I have not unwrapped it yet. Cause you know, we sometimes need a little Christmas present or for me, I have a birthday in February, but I'll probably unbox this before then. I wanna do a proper unboxing. My channel was known for unboxings for a while and it we kind of started doing different things. So this will be an unboxing cause you can see I have the, the plastic wrap on it. This is the Mahogany Tarot by Kashira Hickson and I am so excited to dig into this one because I am studied in the Rider-Waite-Smith tradition. I am very much well versed in Rider-Waite-Smith as far as my tarot home system and I'm excited about this one. I'm excited. So thank you Queen Asset. You are an amazing being of light. I love you. And um, I can't wait to dig into this. Look at that gorgeous, gorgeous empress. Look at her. Look at her. And then another one similar. I think I have it all. Yes, yeah, similar to the, to the mahogany tarot. It's the glamorous tarot. And she, Queen Asset, lit up when she was describing this deck. She was like, I really love it. I'm working with it. It's great. And she got me super excited. I haven't had a chance to unbox it. I'm like, I cannot wait to unbox it. It might be the first one. I mean, well, I don't know. Which one do I choose to focus on? I might have to put a poll up in the group. Like, which one do we dig into first? The Glamorous Tarot, first edition. Do you guys know about this one? I'm excited about this one, too. I'm so excited. Author is Jessica Horton. And this, when I was, like, envisioning like doing unboxings or flip throughs that I would do it and then be able to either do a video or a live stream with Queen Asset and get her insights on how she's working with it and all that fun stuff. So we'll see. We'll see how our schedules mesh and see if we can make that happen, at least for some of these vid decks, some of these decks. Now, the last deck I want to chit chat with you all about in terms of gifted decks is the Clarity Tarot. This was sent to me, sent to me, and I, you know, I was going to do an honest review. I'll link in the description box the review I did for this deck. And um, here it is. It is Red Schiffer and Red Schiffer, you guys. It's been a long day. Red Feather Schiffer is the main company. Red Feather is a subsidiary that created this deck. And I love it. Deborah Zacho, Zacho, I'm probably mispronouncing your name, I apologize. She was the one that had this sent to me and you guys, I'm not gonna gush over it, but I actually am really loving the readings that I've been doing with it. I really like this deck. It shuffles, riffle shuffles like a freaking dream and it overhand shuffles like a dream. And I love the messages that come up. Like, there's the four of swords. I'm just really impressed. Just impressed. I really am. I'm so glad she did send this to me. And, and I gave my feedback. It was not directed at all towards um, her creation or the artist. Loving the artist's work wasn't at all for them. It was just Red Feather, you know, I just have a couple little tweaks if you could do, but honestly, you know, they were minor things that don't really bother me for a working deck. And I just have been really enjoying working with it. I really have. I was surprised by it. Here's the moon. I was really surprised. So if you want to see more of that deck, check out the flip through and the review that I did on it. And um, yeah, I love it. I just love it. I just love it. 
I, I actually am surprising myself. I only use the light sears to row my home, my home skillet, the one I always keep on my reading table. I only use it a few times this month. I've been using my slow tarot, which I'm phasing out because it's my autumn deck, this baby here. Um, and I was like, well, what else am I going to use? And so then I was like, well, let me, let me give this a go. Let me give the clarity to row a go. And I'm so glad I did. I'm so glad I did. So yeah, you all, this deck here is um, quite magical. And I knew it would be because Deborah um, is like myself. She has been doing readings like full time and not, not long, way longer than me. Wait, I think she has like 25, 30 years of like experience, working experience. So she knows what she's talking about. It has an incredible guidebook. Okay, incredible. I love it. I love it. God, I just love it. Imagine that. Mass market. Imagine that. And yeah, so it goes. I've been loving my mass market decks. All right, so now we're going to talk about the decks that I actually I bought and added, the tarot decks, in this next part. Here we go. So now let's talk about a couple of decks that I got. And it's not many, really. So that's cool. It's good. Not won't be the same in the Oracle video, I assure you. But um, let's talk about the decks that I bought. The first one is this one. It is the Sincera's Tarot Cards. And it, it's just nondescript. I got it off of Amazon, OK? I was looking for a deck with keywords that I could use when I'm working the hotline. So let's say it's an early Saturday morning and like I, I wake up and I'm feeling inspired to do readings, but I don't really feel like doing a lot of heavy lifting with the cards. I was like, I need, I need a deck. I need a deck to do that with. So that's why I ordered this deck. I will link in the description box the deck or the video that I did regarding why I think it's a great idea for readers to have decks with keywords. You don't have to use them all the time. Clearly, I don't I have a, quite the collection of decks that don't have them, and I don't need them. But it's nice to have them from time to time. So I got this, and look how worn it is, y'all. This is after only a year. <laughs> I wish it was a slightly better quality because I beat it up to the to just to high heaven. It also came with this cool little bag that I'm going to probably use for another deck. Probably one of my Mystery Mystic reading decks. I haven't decided yet because those stay out and about. They're up there. They stay out and about. But, um, yeah, I really like the little bag. And I got this on Amazon. Amazon. Here's the card backs. And, yeah, they're already bent to hell. But it has a lot of great information here. It has a reversed and upright meaning. It has um, yes or no or maybe indicated here. My, I apologize, my husband's yelling. Um, it has the elements. It has even something that says third deacon Scorpio, second deacon Sagittarius. It's probably astrology. I don't know much about that. But um, yeah. I just really enjoy this deck. It's super accurate. It works well for me. I don't care if I'm doing a reading with clients or reading for myself. I use this deck daily. Daily I use this deck. And I don't care if this is the deck I use for like my personal private clients who come to me through my website or my Etsy shop. And I'm like, well, these are the cards that jump. I don't care if y'all see these in the pictures because they are giving what I need them to get. Okay? That's what they're doing right here. And I just really like this deck. In fact, it's in my save for later purchases items. I'll probably get another copy um, in probably a little short while because this deck is like, it's going through it. I use it that much. Way more than I expected, clearly. The only thing is I wish it was on better stock. I have contemplated the idea of maybe making my own deck and doing it on better stock 
and make playing cards and just for my personal use and y'all don't have to do that but just for my personal use but that would require energy and time that I just don't have right now so we just gonna keep buying these they're very inexpensive on Amazon and it works it works it totally works so yeah look at that the Wheel of Fortune my tarot card of the year it just keeps popping up can't ignore it so anyhow, that was that. That was the deck. One of the main tarot purchases I got that, yeah, as y'all can see, it is well loved. Look at this. Look at that. You can see how it's bowed and bent. I don't care. It's well loved. It is well worked in. It delivers clearly. Next up is this beauty. Poppy Palin's Everyday Enchantment Tarot. Now, this is my second copy. The first edition is somewhere in my parents' garage in a con plastic container that we weren't able to really define. And I'm hoping when I go back for a visit to California next year, we will find it. Anyway, so there is an edition, a new, uh, older edition of this deck floating around in my parents' garage. But I needed it for my tarot study, and so I ordered it, and I, I'm so glad I did. I had a magical experience with this deck during our tarot study, and I'm grateful. I'm grateful for the life and legacy of Poppy Palin. She is just an amazing, amazing person, and I'm sad that she made her transition In 2022, it was, it was kind of a hard pill to swallow. And I'm grateful that we were able to do the Tarot study and use the everyday enchantment as um, a way I feel like honoring her and, and the beauty of the work that she created. And I still go back and forth on whether or not I am going to trim the deck. I go back and forth. I still do. You guys, I had made a decision during the Tarot study. I was going to go ahead and trim it. And then I went back again and was like, I'm not going to trim it. I'm not going to trim it. I don't know what I'm going to do. So, um, but nevertheless, it's such a, an amazing, amazing deck. And if Red Feather had decided to make a smaller version, I would totally get it because then it would take the whole burden of me having to trim it or contemplate or struggle with my two of swords moment of whether or not to do it it take that all away from me but since they don't i'm just keeping the borders on <laughs> i don't know it's been a debate inside our facebook group of under life to Road group for me forever so there you go so four of wands such a special deck I wish she was still here with us so if we, when we were doing her tarot study, we could maybe have her on and have her visiting us as we were working through this deck. And I love the Ten of Blades. And she just, she wasn't here. So, you know, that was a, a part of 2022. That was like literally a hard pill to swallow because... <sighs> Yeah, we won't go too much into that. But if you all know and you're part of the community, then you know why it's a bit heavy and on her passing. So, yeah, so I got that deck and I don't have any regrets. Even if I find the first one that I bought, I may gift this one to someone, um, to someone or do it in a giveaway or something like that. I'll find a way. I won't, I won't have two copies of the same deck unless... I trim this one and then I messed, God forbid I messed up, I have the original one with the border. So it'll all work out. It'll all work out. Now, the last one that I purchased and it's in my little hot hands is the Transient Light Tarot by Ari Weissner. It is a Hay House deck. This one here is Red Feather. Red Feather. And Sincera's, I'm just, it's on Amazon. I don't know if that's the name of the company, but there you go. But Transient Light, you all, I have not done a flip through of this deck. And I have not done an unboxing. And that was deliberate because I wanted to work with it before I did all that. 
So sometimes if there was a time where I unbox all my decks, any deck coming through the door was going to have an unboxing. I was going to share it on the channel. Now my philosophy around that has changed. That's okay. So we have the Transient Light Guidebook. I really am enjoying this deck quite a bit. It has these extra cards here where we got the past, present, and future. And then we have this. I'm going to be doing a tarot combos with this, so check it out. And eventually, as time goes on, I will do like a review or a deck in focus. It's one of my favorite things to do um, for my decks. I'll do that and share it with you all. Um, but for, and you know, after I got a chance to work with it, okay. That's the Defender. Hmm. Emperor. The Revealer is the High Priestess traditionally. I was just really, really surprised that I enjoyed this deck as much as I've been enjoying it since I got it. Here's the Chariot. But I am. Oh, I love the Devil. I love that. Attachment. Something that needs to be cut. Here's the magician. And we'll do one more. Ten of coins. Okay, wait, maybe one more. Y'all know how I am. The nurturer. This is the traditional empress. So, yeah, those were the decks, the tarot decks, at least. Like I said, the um, oracle version of this video is going to probably be a lot longer because I tend to buy way more oracle decks than i do tarot i'm very picky about my tarot decks and not that i'm not picky about my oracle decks but i give it a little more leeway i'll just say that so anyways the last couple of things i want to share with you all will be about the decks that i have um either ordered on amazon it's not here yet it's on its way hopefully fingers crossed um, I backed on Kickstarter, not here yet. We'll be here sometime in 2023, we've been told. And then the last is I pre-ordered something that should come around my birthday in February. So we'll just chit chat for the last couple of minutes of this video about those things. And uh, yeah, let's, let's get to chit chatting about it. So let's talk about the deck that I purchased from Amazon and it's not here yet. Hopefully it'll be here in the next week or so. That is the Black Tarot an Ancestral Awakening deck and guidebook. And I'm excited about this deck. It was supposed to make the uh, video that I did on my 2023 like wish list decks, but it didn't make it and that's okay. I am talking about it here and now and you will probably see either an unboxing or a, a deck flip through or a deck in focus in the future with this deck. I had a specific purpose in mind for it which is that I wanted to use this deck in um, ancestral conversations for my clients and I have a deck that I do that with in my own private practice from readings for myself, which is the Hoodoo Tarot, but I'm not comfortable with using that deck with clients. And some people are like, well, why not? It just is what it is. I, you know, I could do a whole video explaining how the, it came to be for me that way. But nevertheless, my ancestors were very clear that that is the deck if they are to communicate with me through the means of what I love most is in this car in this world of magic which is cards they agreed to use that deck so I'm gonna go with it I'm not gonna push that issue but nevertheless I'm excited I can't wait to share this deck with you all when it finally gets here and I get a chance to do a proper flip through so yeah let me know if you know about it if you have it and um, yeah, let's chit chat about it in the comments section. 
Okay, now we're going to talk about a deck that I backed on Kickstarter this year that we probably won't see until sometime late spring or early summer of next year on the channel. And that is the Boachea's Tarot of Earthly Delights. And I am so excited for this deck, you all. Like, you don't even know. I have been loving on the Fool's Dog app of this deck for years and years and I would always say gosh I wish this deck was an actual deck that I could hold in hand and apparently I wasn't the only one that felt that way and the creators and the illustrator was finally able to go ahead and create a deck and they fully funded this late this year and now we get to see it come to life and come to fruition and I felt confident about backing this deck on Kickstarter because I know all the images are done. If they want to throw in an extra card image or two, that's fine. But I know that that, that heavy lifting is done as well as the guidebook um, has the, you know, the core information that's needed. So it's not really a matter of waiting for the creator to dream up or come up with art to have in a full 78 deck, you know, 78 card deck I should say we don't have to wait for that it's, it's already done so I'm excited about this one you all I really really am and I cannot cannot wait to share it with you that will be a proper unboxing and a proper celebration I'm talking years at least five years that I have been hoping and wishing that this was a real deck in hand and here it is being made manifest gotta love it just gotta love it Okay, so let's talk about the deck that I pre-ordered on Etsy, and that is the Tarot of Oneness, and I am so excited for this deck. This deck was actually discussed and featured in my 2023 wishlist video. Check that out. I'll link the um, video in the description box so you can see that, and um, a lot of folks have recommended it to me and had left comments that they love it and i saw quite a few flip throughs and walkthroughs and reviews of this deck as well like pouring over the images i am in love i live now on an island and so it just has this vibe for me that's not overtly like you know like oh it's a beach theme or a sailor theme there and it's got a perfect balance of animal energy and people energy and I love the, the first person perspective that it's in I'm just really thrilled to have that deck in hand and I am so happy that I decided to pre-order it truth be told I typically now choose to pre-order or purchase decks from Etsy than I do Kickstarter because I like you know I like the idea of a more finished item than I then waiting and waiting for a creator no you know there's no if i have time on my hands or money on my hands it's not a big deal at all but waiting and waiting for a creator to dream up the artwork for 78 cards versus having all of that heavy lifting of the creative project done and then i'm just i'm just you know giving the money supporting it so it can come into fruition i like to come maybe later in the game that's just me you know but the creators need all our support, so I'm here for it. But on the other hand, I also have my own motivations, you know. So anyways, you all, I'm so excited about this one. I cannot wait to do an unboxing, a flip through, a deck in focus, whatever I've got going on with this deck. I cannot wait to share it with you. Let me know what you think about what was on my Tarot 2022 deck haul. What did you think? Were you surprised? Were you surprised by the number of, the, of decks I was gifted versus the number of decks that I bought? What decks were on your deck haul list this year? What decks did you get? Did you receive them via gift or did you did you purchase them? What decks did you back or pre-order? I want to hear from you in the comment section. So don't be shy. Leave a comment. I, I'm going to probably respond. I am one of those ones, one of those content creators that it may take me a day or two, but I'm going to respond. And also do me a favor on your way out. You know, I didn't ask in the beginning, but I'm going to ask right now. If you would do me a favor, do me a good one. 
hit the like button. It does help the channel as well as subscribe so you can make sure you get notified of when I'm creating my little videos over here. All right, fam, take good care of yourselves. I'm going to see you in the next one. The next one's going to be about Oracle. It may take me a couple of days to gather those up because it's quite the list, but stay tuned. It's coming. And then next week, we're going to talk about my top indie decks of 2022 that I was loving on. So I got more for you. Got more. All right. Love y'all. Take care. Bye for now.